Hey guys, welcome back. We are finally back again doing our videos. I'm sorry that it took us so long to start taking videos, but I needed some time to visit with him while he, well, after he got out of jail. Well, <laughs> yep, I've been in jail, guys. They know that. Um, <laughs> if you had watched my videos, send them to me. You would know. Anyways, guys, I'm employed. She's employed. We're both money makers. Yes, sir, 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 sir. But um, don't you worry. I'm gonna try to get him to do a video talking about what he went through. Oh and my gosh. He he see he says this now, but that's gonna be the video that goes big. If he does that, that video will be the one that's like, pew, and it will clear his name. Well, people will probably still judge us because people judge you regardless. But anyway. With that minute long intro, today we're going to be doing a video about, I don't know what this would be called, but it's, um, I'm, we're going to state a question and then I'm going to answer the question for him and he's going to answer the question for me and we're going to tell you if we're right. So I guess this is like kind of like a tag like they used to do back in the day on YouTube. So we'll just begin. The first question is what tattoos and piercings do I want? Do you want to go first or do, like, do you want me to go first every time? Um, we can switch it up. I'll no. Go. You no. go first every time or I'll go first every time? Heck, you go first. Every time. Okay. So the piercing that he wants is snake bites. Me? And the tattoo that he wants is on this arm right here. He wants to get Courage the Cowardly Dog and he wants it in color, which I don't think he should get color but it, that's up to him and that's the only ones I can think of well pretty right about the cur courage but I think sn snake bites would hurt be a lot to keep up with you literally months ago were telling me you want a snake bite so I was like please don't please don't but anyway so what piercing do you want I don't Any? know I haven't thought about it none probably just my ear I want him to get his nose pierced so bad not me Okay, so what tattoos and piercings do I want? Already. When it comes to piercings, nose piercing? No, you already been through that. Either way, when it comes to a tattoo, I know that she wants a snake, like, come around and, like, biting her. <laughs> That's it. You don't know the one piercing that I want? Nope. Really? Babe. Do you listen to me? <laughs> when was the last time you said it? I want this pierced. You never said that. I said, I don't want to do this stupid. Hey, you guys. I got offended. Yep. Let's just uh, take two. We're going to take friends off. Anyways, we're matching today. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so, no, we're not taking it from the top. But. Uh, <laughs> we're going to keep that in there. Y'all get to see the cold, hard, ugly truth. I have to get some chips during the, the break. <laughs> um, okay, what is my favorite movie? Mm. Oh, wait. Is it Fright Night? That's <laughs> a good one. I have, I have a select few movies that I love. Fright Night being one of them. Lolita is really good. Um, and don't judge me. If you know what Lolita is, don't judge me. Because you don't know what I've been through. And also, I'm sure you didn't, like, finish the book, so. And it's, it's, it's the point. I've, I've gotten on Reddit a lot, and Lolita is supposed to test your, um, conscience. Like, there are times where you're feeling bad. What, is it the protagonist or the antagonist that's bad? The protagonist. It, there are times where wait the antagonist is bad it, there are times where you feel bad for the antagonist of the story but then you have to snap back to reality and be like oh wait he's the one that's wrong he's the one that's in the wrong so like it's a really good book to me because it it helps me like remember just because somebody it, things can be very deceiving i love the book and the movie both versions of the movie um even though the Vladimir 
Nabaka, I can't pronounce it, it's Russian. Um, Vladimir, the person who wrote the book, said that the people who made the movies poorly illustrated what he portrayed in his book. He said, I don't even think they read the book all the way through. So there's that. If you watch the movies, please read the book. Well, I still need to watch it. Yeah. Your favorite movie, I'm going to name off two or three, I think. Um, fuck, what's it called? Shoot, what's it called? Um, Train Spotting. Whoa. Well. Um, what is it? What is it? Um, what are you doing there? What's it called? I know what it's called. You know what I'm talking about where he loses his arm? Yeah. Um, um, yeah. It's exactly. Right, it's right there on the tip of my tongue. I want me to tell you? Mm -hmm. Well, it's Requiem for a Dream. Requiem for a Dream. I need to that read that one. book. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Well, there's another one too in it. Uh, anime. But that don't count. But there's another movie that's kind of like Requiem for a Dream. I think it's Train Spotting that I'm thinking of. T2. Trans what transpiring too? Yeah. Oh, I so, know there was a second one. You didn't. Uh uh. One thing, babe. I haven't even watched Transpiring because we he lived with Alex at that we time. We was watching the second one. Oh, he lived. With, <laughs> he lived with Alex at that time, and he like didn't sit next to me. Something stupid. It was something really stupid. She so wasn't I went, trying to sit through a movie. No, it wasn't that. Wasn't that? Yeah. Oh, so I went out and sat on the steps the whole time. Anyway, <laughs> who is my celebrity crush? We talked about this the other day. Yeah. Oh, wait. Mm. He plays in... I'm not doing it here. <laughs> we just... Oh, wait. Peter Evans. Evan Peters. Evan Peters. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley Tisdale. For sure. Yep. I thought it was Miley Cyrus the other day, because I was like, I was like, I bet I know who your celebrity crush is. And he was like, who? And I was like, Miley Cyrus. And he was like, no. Well, before, before she got the chance to guess, I told her that it hasn't changed in years. <laughs> he tells me that he loves Miley Cyrus, though. Miley Cyrus is beautiful. All right. Based on, now, not like what we want to be. This is kind of just like a fun extra bonus question. Not based on what we want to be, but... um because I don't have any clue what you want to be. Just want to grow up? Oh, you did want to be a social worker. Mm -hmm. But that's shocked. Anyway, based on our personalities, what do you think my, what do you think career field would I, would I thrive in? I want to say a caregiver, a babysitter, something along, not necessarily a nurse, but like. With kids? Mm -hmm. I'm really, really good with kids. Like, I'm really good with kids. Like, I'll teach them stuff. You'd be a really good teacher. Yeah. I'm really, I can, I can, I can speak to children in ways that they will understand a very complex sentence. Like, if I read a book, I used to do this when I was in high school just for fun. Um, I would take a book, I would take a chapter or something, and pretty much dumb it down. Because it would be hard for me to understand what would they were saying with all these big words that I didn't understand. So I would look them up and then rewrite the whole sentence to where it made sense to me so I could reread it. Hmm. Um, and I love to play with kids. Like, I'll get down on my hands and knees and we'll dig in the dirt. Like, no lie. Yours, there are two. You think so? Well, no, there's one. You'd be a good... Uh, pharmacy technician like where you make medicine not pharmacy tech, like dealing with medicine because mm -hmm. you've researched that a lot yeah well babe it's good observation what was the second one you had in mind nice doing business with you um something to do with research again yeah because you're very good like a scientist or something mm -hmm. okay what's my perfect idea for a date Ooh. <laughs> There's not like a set answer on this one either, but I'll tell you if you're wrong. Well, that kind of goes without saying. You definitely love going to a coffee shop and like 
skating? What else do I love to do? I've been wanting to do it all the, all all summer. Oh, swimming. <laughs> I would love to go to the water park. It's my favorite date. <laughs> that is more than full there. And what'd you say? Yeah, we literally play like five year olds at the water park. I'm like, ha 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 Catch me. <laughs> Jump with me. But we don't go down the slides. Did we go down the slides? Yeah, it's my first one in my life with her. Did I go down the red one? Yeah, I'm, I'm a bitch. I won't go down the blue one. I did go down the blue one. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't die. <laughs> okay, what else? Coffee shop? Uh, swimming. Water park. Um, would you like a good show? Would you like to go to a play? Yeah, I have yeah. been wanting to see a play. Yeah. Sorry, y'all, my jaw hurts for some reason unknown. <laughs> Your perfect date idea would be, okay, so wake up in the morning. He says fuck a breakfast plan, but if I cook breakfast, he'll probably eat it. So eat some breakfast and then turn on a record and then go for a skate. Oh, man. And then, um, go see Jesus Christ Superstar. And go to a real big fish concert. And lay out in the yard and look at the moon. And play video games. Well, yeah. Well, besides the video games for watching anime. Uh, that's what I mean. <laughs> Okay, so we know each other kind of all right. Things that aggravate me. Oh, this one's going to be a long list. Um, leaving appliances plugged in after you're done using them. Yeah, like unplug my fucking microwave, bro. <laughs> and talking to other females, even if it's small talk at work with a coworker. I'm working on it, okay? <laughs> I'm working on it. It's just like... Why the fuck she asking about what you got on? <laughs> Man, it's my girlfriend shit. Like, hell. Yo, don't listen to him. He can talk to girls. I'm just saying. I, I think that's a lot better. Thing. Yeah, you did. You did. I'm just teasing, baby. And the only thing I can think about is appliances off the top of my head. And also, playing music throughout the day. Like, really loud music? Yeah. Gives me headaches. Like, we went to a house show once, and I had to go sit down because I couldn't stand any longer. I was about to pass out from the noise. On the bass? Oh, I have, I get sensory overload. Like, sounds really, really, really mess me up. I can tell you a lot. Um, I think I have OCD. So, like, when he cleans, oh my gosh. I'm like, stop fucking doing that shit. Like, let me pick it up. And I'm just standing there. Yeah, he'll sit, we have a dishwasher, and like, he'll be rinsing out the dishes before he puts them in, but it's like, he'll fill the whole thing up, and then pour it out, like, you don't do it that way, turn it and rinse it out, don't fill, you, you, you just rinse it out, and then take it to the, oh gosh, he wastes so much water, he wastes so much water. Wait, let me take this question, she's getting heated up. <laughs> Anything pretty much will aggravate me, like... And whenever he tries to shut the door, I've showed him 76 times you have to lift and push in. And he just sits over there and is like, oh. That only happened twice. No, is it that... happens every time. Oh gosh. Okay, things that aggravate you when I leave food out. Yeah. And also, sorry, you should be answering. <laughs> um... When I yell at him about his driving. I literally haven't crashed. I've wrecked a lot, but I've he's never a bad wrecked. I've never wrecked. He scares the living jeebies out of me. Though. I don't know you've been doing anything. He, he's like a grandpa driving. Like, he should not have his license. <laughs> what else aggravates you? Me? You were about to say something. Um, hell, I don't know. I guess politely suggesting me to turn my music down. Yeah, see that's, we literally are completely opposite. And I don't know how we're ever gonna last because it's like, you know, you'd think he wouldn't have a problem turning his music down because it's making me have a sensory overload. 
and it's making me panic and like giving me a headache and I don't feel good. It's just rock and roll with me, baby. But it hurts me. And you get, that aggravates you that I don't want you to play your music loud? That's me. I was just kidding, baby. No, you wasn't kidding. Yeah, I was. <laughs> you was. <laughs> what are my talents? Well, you're a leader. <laughs> Definitely are a leader. There's one obvious one that you're just skipping over. Organizing, cleaning. You gonna tell me? I'm gonna give you about two more seconds to guess. Cause if you don't get it, I'm gonna be offended and I'll never do it again. Tell him about that. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can draw really good. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty good at drawing. Um, well, Jamarcus says a talentless man. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, he can skateboard. He's pretty good at skateboarding. Uh, and he's pretty good at video games. I mean, and he's really good at research. Like, if you need to find anything out, he will research it and get the right sources. But I'm a... What? Just gonna skip out how I'm an artist, too. Jorcus does abstract art. Oh my gosh. Sorry, can I show them? <laughs> I'll show them. You gonna get up here and point at it or something? Well, as you can see, I started to draw it, and then like a week and a half, I started to color it. And it's just a lot of time. It took me months to do, actually. Yeah, well, Jamarcus apparently thinks I have no talent, so I don't even know why I'm dating him. Oh my gosh. Like, why be, if, if you are dating somebody and they don't think you have any talents, break up with them. You just call me talent. Yeah, because you offended me. You didn't even, you said freaking cleaning is my talent. Like, you're right. That's offensive. Oh, babe. This thing is literally about to break us up. Like, this video, <laughs> this video is a bad idea. <laughs> I'm getting super offended. Why? This is how you think of me? <laughs> is this how you think of me? I've been, we're going to rewatch this, and I'm literally giving out awesome answers and making you sound like a freaking awesome dude. Maybe I don't want to know how awesome you are. Well, favorite music artist. For you? Oh, lasagna Del Rey. Lana Del Rey. That one was easy. <laughs> I gave him one. I put that at the end because I wanted to give him one. Yours. See this one? I was like, I don't know the answer to it, but Death Grips. For sure. Oh. I feel like Lana Del Rey and Death Grips should do a song together. For real, they should go into her. If you're watching, please. <laughs> Stay naughty. I wish that Lana Del Rey and Death Grips would watch our video. Well, it'd be a blessing for sure. Well, that was some end of the questions, guys. Um, if you want to see any more videos from us, just let us know. We can... I think that you all like our beef jerky videos the most. Because that's what gets the most hits. Except for the video where we were... I uh, titled it Explaining Things. That got like 100 views in, in a matter of no time. Cause y'all are nosy. Um, so we will do a video like explaining our relationship and explaining stuff that's been going on and like actually explaining stuff. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. And well, we have a whole house, guys. So you know, I guess be expecting that house tour. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we're about to do another video like in a second, actually. Yeah, we are. So, yeah. Catch you guys on the flip side. Ciao. Uh, ciao.